All right, welcome for our first session for SolidWorks. And in this first session, I'm going to be showing you how to identify things in the interface. So this session, I'm going to go through the interface, the changes of these interface from previous years, and also what are different sections called. So for you beginners, you will identify all the sections, what they're called. So when I identify them later on in this tutorial, you will know what I'm talking about. Okay, now first and foremost, I want to move my mouse in here and you're going to notice a yellow circle around my mouse. Now that yellow circle is just to help guide you to where I am at all time. If you notice, my mouse is actually white uh, and the background of the graphical area is white. So if I don't have that set up there, you're not going to notice where my mouse is if I don't move it. So that yellow circle is just going to help guide you to, to know where I am at all time. Now I also added a few measures. When I right click over here, you're going to notice a red circle appear. And when I left click, you're going to notice a green circle appearing or a green little bubble appear. And what that means is that just to guide you that I am left clicking or right clicking at certain areas. Now I'm going to be repeating this as I'm going through my tutorial so you don't get lost either way. But this is just another measure to show you what I'm doing at all time. Now let's begin right at the center over here. You're going to notice first and foremost, this is my part. My part is going to be right here and this is going to be your graphical area. So your graphical area, whenever I say that, it's going to be uh, identifying this, the main uh, graphic area of the entire part. Okay. Now if I hold the middle uh, scroll button of the mouse and then I rotate, I move it around, I move my mouse around, you're going to see that your part rotates. Okay. You're going to see a rotate symbol uh, switch from my mouse. So right now I have my mouse. And then when I uh, click on and hold the rotation button and I rotate my part, it will uh, switch the symbol of my mouse to a rotation symbol. So that's your rotation symbol right there. So let's go ahead and begin to, from the right side over here. Now this right here, if I click on any of these tabs, it's going to open up uh, another uh, more options. And this entire thing, no matter what tab you go to, okay, it's going to be called your task pane. Okay, now in your task pane, really all these features are are shortcuts from here okay so anything over here you can actually reach either here or under the file or any of these uh, tabs as well so for example there's a new document over here open document right here so you can come over here and this is another new document over here open document over here or come over here under file and then new document open document and things like that so mainly all of these are shortcuts for you to be able to just come over here click over here and click on new documents or there's even a faster shortcut by coming over here and clicking this white little piece of paper that opens up a new document. Okay, so this is your task pane right here. Whenever I talk about that, that's what this is called. Okay, so I'm going to click over here back on the graphical area by left clicking. Uh, it minimizes my task pane. Now come over here and this area right over here, this is going to be called your heads up view toolbar. Okay, so this is what controls the view. I'm going to be going over this as an entire session. You know, but just for right now, if I click on uh, this button right here and I click on my right side view, you're going to notice that your graphical area turns to the right. Okay, if I come over here and click on isometric view, it brings it back into an isometric 3D more look uh, for, of the view. Okay, so let's come over here and go all the way up top over here. There's little two little sections right here. There's a, one with a question mark on it and one with a little tab that you can actually click on and scroll for more options and all these options are actually located also under the help and windows uh, buttons as well but you can click on it and all these options appear if you want to make those go away just go back and click in your graphical area now this section just those two little buttons is called the fly the help fly out menu okay so just the help menu and also if you click on this uh, help question mark and then click on any feature or anything it will explain to you what that is and what it does okay so just a little help if you forgot what something might do you can go ahead and click on click on it and then click on any of the features and it will bring up a little instructions uh, just detailing what it does it's not going to show you what it does like I show you but it will detail it and it will tell you what it's supposed to do and what you know step by step of how to uh, make things work with it. Now, that's why I decided to create a video tutorials because it make, makes it a lot easier for me to show you how it's done rather than just reading how it's done. Okay. Now, there's there's a usually a toolbar section which I actually, actually make viewable if I go ahead and click on tool and then, uh, or I'm sorry, view and then come over here under toolbars. But I'm going to show you this in another section. 
usually the toolbar will be located right above this section. Now this section uh, right here is going to be called your command manager. Okay, now this is the section that you will be focused on mostly in this tutorial. Uh, okay, you're going to be coming over here after sketching a part. There's going to be five tabs over here. Usually there's five tabs. Sometimes there's more tabs depending if you have uh, things in here that you're using. But most of the time there's actually only five tabs. Okay, and then uh, the, the main two tabs that we'll be using most of the time is going to be your sketch. Because you need to create a sketch before you create any part in 3D. And also your features. This will allow you to uh, take the sketch and create a boss from that sketch to create a more solid view of your part, a more 3D view of your part. Okay, so we'll be going over in this tutorial, the beginner's edition tutorial over the sketch, all the sketch parts and all the features parts to get you very familiar with SOLIDWORKS and the essentials of SOLIDWORKS to get you design designing right away. Okay, now if you come over here, the main difference between 2013 and 2014 SOLIDWORKS uh, that you will see right away without really paying too much attention is this logo right here. Now that logo used to be gray, it used to be the same color as the top menu over here uh, and used to be SOLIDWORKS uh, written in black. Now the background is black and SOLIDWORKS is in white. And there's a little red bar right here on the left side of it. So that's probably the main difference that you'll notice right away if you open up SOLIDWORKS 2014 for those experienced users that have used previous versions of SOLIDWORKS. Okay, now come over here and this is your search assistant. This will allow you to search for terms or anything that you would want to find out more about. Uh, just like the help uh, menu over here, the flyout menu, this will help you search for different terms and what they are. Okay, um, over here, it's going to be the name of your document. So right now I named it user interface and if I go over it, you're going to see that the, it shows you the, the location and the name of it. So it shows you right away the location of that part and the name of, it, name of it as well. Okay, now come over here. This is going to be your options menu. Um, uh, and then you also have this little pin right here. If you actually click it, it will disappear. And then you will see a little arrow right here. If you just hover over it, the menu will appear again. And you can click that pin to pin that menu back on top. I usually like to leave it like that. It gives me easy access to the menu. So I don't have to go over and hover er over it every single time I do anything. Okay, so let's come over here. Now, I'm going to click on right here. And this is going to be the uh, biggest, also one of the biggest things that you'll be working with and I'll be going over a lot. It's called your feature manager design tree. And this will show you each uh, step by step on the first thing that you've done, the second thing that you've done, third uh, operation that you've done. So every feature that you've done from first step to the last step. And there's a line right here that I will show you what that line does a little later as well. So right now, I just want to tell you that this is, uh, this is just to guide you through every single uh, a step that you of uh, creating this part and it's called your design tree so feature manager design tree now you're going to notice there's a couple tabs over here and we'll just go over a couple of them that we'll be using later on one of them is the configuration manager and another one over here is your dim expert okay it's right here so this is your dim expert but mainly we will be on here most of the time now you can come over here actually and move this back and forth uh, sometimes you name your parts a little long and you want to you want to um, uh, just move it back and forth. If you double click it, you will see that a feature manager tree disappear. And again, I will go over this a little bit more uh, in the future as well. Okay. Now let's go over here down here to the status bar. You're going to notice that this is a SOLIDWORKS Premium 2014, a 64 bit edition. So some, some of you might have 32 bit. If it's 32 bit, it will say X86. It won't say 32, it would say 86. So this is a 64 bit uh, premium 2004 edition so this is the highest uh, package of SOLIDWORKS you can actually get okay coming down here you're gonna notice something that says editing part now this will either say editing part or editing sketch at all time uh, under the editing part this is where you're editing the features of the part editing the sketch will be when you're doing the ed editing of uh, the sketching of the part so if you notice under every single one of those features uh, there's a sketch you can't really create a boss until you have a sketch. So uh, those are two things to look forward to. And we'll be going over that uh, also as well. Over here, the IPS, if you actually click on it, this is where you uh, change your measuring systems. So right now I'm using the English or Ameri uh, the inches. And you can also use the millimeters and metric. So most of you will probably either be using the uh, metric or the inches. Okay, I'm going to click back on the graphical area to make that disappear. 
and there's also usually a little option over here you'll notice that while you're designing it will say uh, most of the time it will be it will say under defined or define uh, and that's just to make sure that you have you actually have a defined a dimension to all the parts uh, to all the sketches that you have in your um, part so this is something we'll go over a little bit later as well so this is your interface get used to this we'll be uh, I'll be calling out things differently or uh, mostly later, later on in this tutorial and I will be calling out little details of what they are so I'll be going over details of every single little option but this is just to show you where everything is and this over here little section over here this is just to close your part okay so be careful of not closing your part uh, and closing SolidWorks so this is over here to close and uh, minimize or maximize SolidWorks right here this is to close your part so if I actually uh, minimize this it's going to minimize over here and you can actually have multiple parts open of course and then if i maximize it over here you're going to see your part maximize back over here so this is your user interface get used to this uh, another difference real quick between 2013 or previous versions of solidworks and this one is also the command manager over here it's not it doesn't have the 3d look that it had in previous versions in previous versions it has a little bit more 3d look for the buttons especially in windows 7 now i'm using this in windows 8 so you're familiar with what what uh, operating system i'm using it with this is actually windows 8.1 it's the newest windows that has been out and uh, it works perfectly very smooth and fine but also uh, just a little bit different feel and look for solidworks for 2014 uh, I'm not sure if this will change in future versions, but if we do name this tutorial something a little bit different in the future, uh, for example, if we name it 2014, 2015, that means they have not really changed anything between those two versions. All right, and this will conclude this tutorial for the user interface.